wanted to spend a few minutes today just chatting about the insulated hives from Enel and a question we sometimes get asked by our larger beekeepers in the area that are running bees on pallets. A lot of times we're asked, do the insulated hives fit on the pallet? And so I got curious here over the weekend and uh, went to Bee Culture, found an article on how to make a pallet. And so I built a just a side-by-side -side pallet, a half pallet, I guess, and uh, followed their dimensions. It looked pretty close. Um, I didn't size it to fit the insulated box or to fit the wood box. I just followed the plan. I'm about a half inch longer um, in the width on the bottom board equivalent. Um, but this was just thrown together with pieces I had in the backyard just to kind of get a feel for, you know, what would happen. There's some tidying up of the of the wood that's used to frame in the, the border on the bottom board, but otherwise it, it works out pretty well. So you can see we have two boxes set up here. The traditional wooden 10 frame box is sitting on here with the migratory lid and using the W clamps or the um, not clamps, the um, W mounts um, for the pallets, those are in here. Uh, you can see it comes right off. Got our W uh, holders in here. We're a little bit different thickness here on the wood. It's just a detail that needs to be cleaned up in the, if I make more of these. Um, but it's functional, right? So the the box fit on here, the wood box fit on here like this with the migratory lid. But we can also see that the insulated box from an L also fit the pallet and fits inside those W clamps. So we have our lid. The lid offers a little bit of opportunity here even though it sits a little higher than the traditional migratory lid. This lid can accommodate a feeder or can accommodate your pollen patties. It also provides for a top port, so you can fill that feeder um, without necessarily cracking a hive open. So one advantage, I think, in that space, I don't run bees this way, so I'm kind of going off of my own hypothesis of what I think would be better. Um, the box fits like, just like the wooden box did. Pick this up comes right out. And just to show you a little bit, that fits right in the, the W can't groove. When it seats down in there, it sits pretty, it's snug. It is very snug. Migratory lid will not fit over the top of these, the traditional migratory lid. Now, if you were building your own lids and they didn't have this front hang to keep them centered on the box, then you could probably get away with putting your own migratory lid on there. Um, Weight-wise, because that becomes important, there is about one pound of difference in the wood box to the insulated box. This insulated box weighs a pound more. Um, when I compare the lids, these particular lids that we have are right at five pounds, and the migratory lid is right at four. I wrote it down in here. Just a, a hair over four pounds. Um, 4.13, I guess, closer to five. So weight-wise, um, not a lot of difference, but pounds matter um, at the end of the day. Um, I think for the first run, this works out pretty well. We'll have it here and maybe clean up a few of the pieces parts um, just as a demonstration and answering that question about does the insulated hive work. I think it does. You can scale these up. You can add two boxes on here. Um, just like you would with a wooden box. Or you can slowly work your transition without having to abandon your pallet strategy um, completely by using the Enel insulated boxes. 
and we cover some of the advantages of the insulated boxes in other videos just so you can get a sense here's another insulated box we'll just set that right on here just like that and there we go we've got a white and a yellow um, so you can some of the benefits of the insulated hive these are going to last a long time they're insulated they uh, you know help keep warm things warm and cold things cold in terms of temperature as the bees find the right thermal regulation right temperature through thermal reg regulation in the box the box becomes an instrument in helping them to maintain that temperature um, versus a wooden box which is going to leach heat or leach temperature fairly quickly the insulated boxes won't do that so in theory you end up with less stressed bees that aren't, maybe aren't working so hard can't quantify that for you um, but in theory it makes sense so with that this was just kind of a first run to see how this might work um, we'll make some additional videos here in the near future on uh, on pilots if you are a pallet runner and you want to give it a try, shoot me an email at uh, info at magnoliabeeandsupply.com and be happy to chat with you and even work out a couple ways possibly to get you a couple to, to try it out. Um, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.